Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, we're going to talk about the announcement that they had for uh, Mobox. Um, so this announcement contains the second anniversary, as you can see here on the screen by this banner. And uh, what, will, what it will contain is obviously a halving event and most probably a second anniversary event. Um, so we're going to go through all the stuff here um, and see what they are up to, pretty much. And then I'll give my inputs and stuff like that. And uh, we'll take it from there. So unraveling the Enchanted Realm of Mobox 2.0. So in my opinion, Mobox 2.0, what that stood for was when Mobox went on their own blockchain. Uh, so... If you guys don't know about this, uh, Mobox uh, don't want to be a token on Binance Smart Chain. They actually want to go independent and become a layer one, uh, which means they will become a coin instead of a token, if that makes any sense. Uh, for the people who don't know what that means, token means uh, it, it is a, it's layer two on, uh, on a project. For example, Mobox is a layer two on top of Binance Smart Chain, uh, where if it becomes independent, just like BNB did, BNB also was a token on the Ethereum blockchain and eventually became a own separate layer one uh, that had, you know, uh, all these projects below it. But the, in order to do that, they have you have to become a layer one project and no longer be a token, but a coin. That's the difference. But anyway, in my opinion, that's what that means. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that. However, they're going to name it Mobox 2.0 for some reason. As we approach the second anniversary of the mystical Mobox gaming platform, we embark on the journey uh, through time. Rem uh, what? Re reminiscing about the magical achievements and milestones that have materialized with our, in our ever-growing kingdom. Uh, the Enchanted Tale uh, could not have been written uh, without the Steedfest dedication of the Mobox community and our valiant team. Uh, with hearts full of gratitude, we reminisce about our past while boldly uh, setting forth our grand vision for the upcoming year. Uh, two years ago, the Mobox gaming platform emerged uh, from the shadows and set foot in the Binance Smart Chain since then. Uh, we have uh, tra uh, traversed the path uh, from obscurity to fame. To fame. Now entering the realm of a rapid development as we tirelessly enhance our platform and games. Uh, our flourishing Mobox ecosystem has evolved uh, from humble beginnings to a vast interconnected matrix teeming uh, with depth and intrigue, boasting a trove of re uh, remarkable achievements. Among these treasures are 3.6 million unique wallets, a total value locked of about 440 million US dollars, over 2 million NFTs in injured, and a staggering 400 million BUSD in NFT trading volume. In my opinion, guys, this is nothing to brag about. Uh, the TVL is for sure, but the 2 million NFTs conjured is not something to brag about. Uh, they, they inflate the NFT uh, marketplace uh, too much. So purple and gold NFTs becomes less valuable the more of it there is, right? So that is why you could pay $50 now for a purple NFT where literally a year and a half ago, 
or maybe a year ago, it was $3,000 for one. Uh, they flooded the NFTs, purple, purple and gold in particular, way too much of it. And now it is at a point where it's broken. You don't even use NFTs anymore to go past certain levels. So if my NFT was level 19 and I wanted to make level 20, right? I had to burn a different family or I had to burn the same family depending on if it's a, a epic um, or a rare. So, I mean, in my opinion, that is nothing to brag about. Uh, the, the, the inflation of NFTs is way more than US dollar inflation. Way, way more, way more. Like I'm talking about 10 folds here. And for the Mobox team, this moment holds a specific magic. Since 2018, uh, we have successfully launched a multitude of influential game products in the Web3 realm. Uh, with the inception of the Mobox platform, uh, we have spent five enchanting years immersed with the Web3 domain, bolstered uh, by a stead, uh, steadfast team abundant industry experience, and a relentless can-do spirit. Uh, we have marched valiantly towards our goal. Uh, this unwavering uh, commitment has ensured the abundance of the major security breaches within our platform. Presently, uh, we eagerly seek uh, to collaborate with exceptional Web3 builders to further manifest the Mobox vision and mission. Okay, then. So let's see here. Uh, we uh, cordially invite you to embark the journey uh, through the Mobox, uh, Mobox 2022 annual summary and join in celebration of our second anniversary as we continue to weave the spellbinding tale of the enchanted Mobox 2.0 uh, realm. Abstract. Mobox cross-chain development. New NFT series. Dragon. Mobox World. Momoverse. Mobox Avatar 2.0. Mobox Game Release Plan. Mobox World. Mobox Token Economic... Uh, economic Model 2.0, Mobox Fusion Hub, Mobox Mart, Roadmap, and Summary. So Mobox seems to be partnering up with Arbitrum, uh, which is a pretty big company. I hear about them all the time. So that's a good thing. Mobox Platform Cross-Chain Development. As part of the Mobox multiverse plan, the Mobox platform has... Dude, I'm just seeing now how much there is to read. And oh my... Wow. Okay. This might take a two-hour video. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> Mobox has officially launched its multi-chain collaborative development strategy in its third year. It is no longer limited to single chain development on the Binance Smart Chain. To achieve this goal, the Mobox team is building cross-chain protocols for multiple mainstream public chains. To achieve collaborative uh, operability of NFTs on different public chains, capture the, the endow more value to Mobox and enhance Mobox ecosystem compatibility. Uh, the cross-chain collaboration introduced Mobox into the Ethereum ecosystem for the first time, bringing new NFTs series to Arbitrum. By integrating with Arbitrum, Mobox can interact with a large number of Ethereum users and projects. Mobox users, uh, Mobox can use their assets and NFTs on Arbitrum, uh, Arbitrum 
and interact with the projects in the Ethereum ecosystem. Simply Ethereum projects and users can use the assets and NFTs on the Mobox platform, Mobox games and Mobox services. Through cross-chain functionality, the NFT uh, interoperability, Mobox plans to achieve the cross-chain uh, interoperability uh, of all platforms, products, and games. This allow the, uh, this allow the use of NFTs from other blockchain on the Mobox platform and Momoverse, bring more choice to the user and creating opportunities to inter uh, to attract a more diverse user base and resource channels. It also establishes universal collaborative operability between the blockchain and applications. Now, does this mean if I have an ape, let, let me just say this, if I have an ape NFT that is worth $100,000 and I bring it now to Mobox and I stake it, will I receive Mobox? Because that, that's going to be stupid. Uh, you, you, they need to buy Mobox NFTs, right? Uh, the first cross-chain gateway of the Mobox platform uh, will be established in the Ethereum and its Layer 2 network, Arbitrum. Uh, this not only brings Mobox into the Ethereum ecosystem, but also brings new NFT series to Arbitrum. Uh, through cross-chain Arbitrum, Mobox can interact with a large number of users and pro projects on Ethereum, achieving more collaborative opportunities. Uh, dude, why am I reading this again? It's the same thing. Mobox users, I use the Mobox asset of the NFT Arbitrum, interact uh, with the ecosystem. Meanwhile, projects and users on Ethereum can use the assets and NFTs on Mobox platform, Mobox games, and Mobox services. No, that, that's line four. They, they said that again. Cross chain of Arbitrum. Uh, is the important step of Mobox to expand the ecosystem and realize its vision of creating an interconnected multi-universe. Uh, the Mobox team will continue to collaborate uh, with their mainstream blockchains uh, to develop cross-chain protocols and provide users with broader uh, interoperability and, use, uh, and usage choices. Cross-chain Arbitrum will bring opportunities uh, to the uh, convenience to more users and projects, helping the development of the entire blockchain ecosystem. Uh, through the collaborative uh, operability of Momo NFTs and other public chain NFTs, uh, we will jointly, jointly promote the development and innovation of the metaverse. So here's a dragon NFT building a new world of Mobox 2.0. Looks adorable and cute, and it doesn't look blocky. Okay, enchanting Mo dragon NFTs, a magical world awaits. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I just have to say this. Like, what is wrong with our current NFTs? Why does there have to be a separate, different Mo Dragon out of the blue? The Mobox team is thrilled to unveil the imminent arrival of, uh, of an um, enthralling new NFTs series. Guys, the old system don't work. You know what we gotta do? We'll make a new series. The mesmerizing Mo Dragon, set to grace of the Ethereum Layer 2 public chain Arbitrum. Uh, this bewitching NFT's collection merges cutting edge AI, images, image generation, uh, sorcery. Beckering layers into a realm of diverse gameplay and captivating, uh, captivating uh, interactive experience with 
in the Mobox ecosystem. This is the Mobox art uh, team's first NFT creation, combines cutting edge AI image generation technology. AI has a great untapping potential in the creative field, and the Mobox team plans to utilize this technology in production while ensuring uh, com compli compliance and not violating basic ethical standards. Additionally, the team plans to work with players. What? The team plans to work with players since when? To create content and participate in promoting the AI technology revolution in the future community activities. As the first phase of the Mode Dragon NFTs release unfolds, the Mobox platform will bestow the gifts of Genesis, Dragon Eggs upon Mobox players and devote devoted users of Arbitrum. These mystical eggs will soon hatch, unveiling and making all the NFTs you bought already even more useless. <laughs> we'll soon hatch unveiling the <laughs> alluring Mo Dragons NFTs lie within. Keep a watch of uh, watchful eye on the Mobox social media and community for announcements detailing the uh, enchanting airdrop rules. The enthralling Mo Dragon NFT series encompasses six elemental realms fire, water, wood, earth, light, and darkness. Mo Dragons that emerge from the Genesis Dragon Eggs will be blessed with one of these elemental affinities at random. As players venture deeper into the magical world, they may discover unique dual element dragons and even the elusive four element dragon in subsequent hatches. Engaging gameplay, including hatching, battling, fishing, what, what is fussing? Battling, fussing, and nurturing multi-element dragons will be unveiled in due course, showcasing the unparalleled inter interoperability of the NFTs and adding an extra layer of enchantment to the game. They do look cute, though. This captivating NFT series promises to become an inter integral aspect of Mobox platform, bestowing endless joy and opportunities upon the cherished community. We will warmly invite all Mobox community members to delve into wondrous and in, uh, enigmatic realm of dragons and embark on the magical adventure like no other. As the project steadily develops, there will be a more cross-chain interactive gameplay in the future, including interaction with the BNB chain and Momo players on the BNB chain. Stay tuned for the Mobox official channels for more spellbinding updates on the Mo, Mo Dragon NFTs. Thank you for your unwavering support. The thing is, like, we can't do anything without supporting Mobox. It's like, new NFTs come out, guess what? The old NFTs will now just die out. If you think $50 now for a purple NFT is little, wait until this dragon comes out. Those old NFTs will go to zero. Like, I'm not even joking. If you can mine, let's say, for example, 10x more with this thing, you will pay 10x more than what you have right now. But the thing is, everyone will do it. And then, yeah.
And it's again not rewarding the players, right? It's not the players that can mint the NFTs and sell them. No, it is them. They are the sellers. You can un you can get them somehow through the platform. And it's going to be again out of hand because they want to get sales. They make money from people spending money in the market, right? So they don't care if there's 700 more uh, rares per day. They don't care about that. What they care about is people interacting with the, mo with the marketplace because that's where they make their money. So... Again, there will be an exceptional amount of NFTs. Welcome to the Mobox world, a dream-like world of the infinite possibilities. You mean infinite minting of NFTs instead of possibilities, right? Uh, with the successful implementation of the Mobox cross-chain protocol, our team now envisions uh, a captivating Mobox metaverse world inspired by the mesmerizing Momoverse. As at trailblazers in the Web3 domain, uh, we began designing an inter, uh, innov innovative game four years ago. And the world rev uh, rev 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 what? revolution revolutionize uh, the blockchain gaming industry. Are, th are they... Are they talking about Chain Z Arena that was a failure four years ago? Uh, the blockchain game industry. Uh, this game empowers players to com uh, complete ownership of in-game assets. Well, I don't have complete ownership of my in-game assets. Right? If I did, I would have sold my cards on Chain Z Arena and move it over to my new wallet. I don't have complete ownership of my assets of my gaming wallet. Enabling them to craft in habit of their own... Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about that statement I just made. Enabling them to craft an in habit of their own um, fantastical multidimensional universe. Our uh, unwavering dedication is to create an, uh, an immersive and rewarding experience for every player in an open, decentralized environment, encouraging each participant to contribute to the community building as a member of a, a collective working towards a, a shared vision. An open, multi-dimensional universe. As eternal game creators, uh, we've identified a disconnect between participants and the new social contracts within the existing gaming ecosystem. The Mobox universe brings players, designers, engineers, and creators together under a harmonious system of shared possibility, uh, responsibilities and incentives. The division is between the people that is here for years that still don't get the treatment that they should and the new people that just can get everything for a lot cheaper. The old, the old players feel like they don't get listened to. And the new players don't know what they're asking. And I feel like the division is between admins on the Telegram group. Because if you, could, if you do get decent input on what is the cause of the price of Mobox being where it is, instead of them listening, they laugh it off and ban you from Telegram. So the division is not the community, it's actually the admins. Well, not the admins, it's just Fatboy.
uh, throughout the game development process, uh, we recognize the need for more uh, equitable operation models that breaks down the historical barriers between builders and participants, em empowering everyone to create na uh, nu nurture, nurture, enhance, and benefit from the fruits of our collective labor. We also strive to protect these efforts from the influence of uh, intermediaries seeking access to, to distribution channels. A fair and thriving community lies at the heart of our game's future, and every step forward uh, reveals the potential of this enchanting world. We are steadfast in our belief that this is the key to cr uh, crafting a sustainable game, rich in content and deeply engaging for players. In, these, uh, in this new realm, we're dedicated to uh, building a truly digital universe that transcends gaming platforms in uh, incorporating a wide array of services, applications, and tools for users to explore, play, and interact. Our grand vision in, uh, includes allocating a unique um, continent of each mainstream public chain, home to their native uh, population. Uh, these continents uh, will sim symbolize uh, their res um, respective public chains, fostering a distinctive digital ecosystem that facilitates communication between users across different public chains. The Momoverse... Okay, so... Does this mean that where my NFT is based is how much I'll be getting minting, if, if that makes sense? The mining, the mining industry can't be shared with one another because it's different chains. So how will they split it then? Again. So it's not just a halving event, now it's going to be cross-chain also. That could be another halving. The Momoverse... Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, the Momoverse, a, coloss a colossal floating island situated, uh, situated uh, at the center of this world will feature diverse terrains such as land, floating islands, oceans, and uh, enigmatic creatures. Players can claim a piece of the land, build their dream homes, and engage with fellow in inhabitants. Uh, they'll have a chance uh, to construct airships, journey uh, to enchanted continents, engage in epic battles uh, with hostile fleets, uh, or trade with merchant fleets, void, uh, voyaging uh, the world. The Mobox team is devoted in integrating all products, services, and games on the Mobox uh, platform uh, into this digital universe. Uh, this boundless uh, world teeming with possibilities will allow users to create digital assets. What? To develop games and applications and interact with others. Okay. Uh, we believe the digital world uh, will not only offer users an entertaining and creative space, but also become a genuine social platform that uh, fosters open communication and collaboration between various public chains, uh, chain ecosystem. Okay. Uh, our dream is to cultivate a truly open and equal community uh, in, the in this digital realm, where everyone has the opportunity to participate and create their digital value. 
regardless of the public chain affliction. You'll discover a sense of belonging and connection here. The Mobox team will continue to work tirelessly uh, to enhance and develop an enchant uh, and enchant an enchantment of this digital world. Delivering the ultimate experience and services to our users. Embracing Momoverse, a world of adventure awaits. Uh, we are thrilled to announce that, uh, the seam seamless uh, integration of the Momoverse home into the Momo uh, as into the Mobox universe. Uh, the fusion, the fusion. Uh, will provide users a a grander uh, world view, uh, inviting every Momoverse resident uh, to delve into a more diverse and vivid world. Upon the integration of the Momoverse's home, players can uh, can establish their domains, rise to uh, prominence as Influ uh, influential lords and V for minerals I don't know what that word means maybe view for minerals resources and land of their of their forces our team has diverse numbers and is diverse numerous uh, innov innovative tools and gameplay features alongside richer background stories and engaging quests these elements will allow players to create and explore more freely within the game players can enhance their economic power by establishing guide uh, guilds and uh, uh, constructing buildings as well as acquiring more treasures and resources by venturing into uh, uncharted territory, uh, territories on the map. Uh, we are confident uh, that the integration pro uh, process will inject more excellent and challenges, uh, excitement, sorry, excitement and challenges uh, into the Mobox universe and Momoverse. We eagerly uh, 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 anticipate unveiling more as surprises uh, for our community and players in the future updates. Together, let's expand a boundless world of endless uh, possibilities. Introducing Mobox Avatar 2.0. Mobox avatars are magical embodiments uh, of, of your virtual self within the wondrous realm of the Momoverse. As unique, ma uh, to be honest, guys, like, I don't know why I'm reading all of this. Um, I just want to know what happens with the halving event. That's pretty much all I want to know. Bestowing over a decade of experience, Mobox game release plan. Like, to be honest, this doesn't affect me. I couldn't care less about avatars. Okay, Mobox game release plan. Let's see here. I'm going to just read from round four the... The things that I really care about. So boasting over the decade of experience in traditional game development and uh, publishing, uh, our team is well equipped with exploring and innovative uh, within Realm uh, Web3 gaming. Our financial resources are more than adequate uh, to support our long-term uh, in do-overs in this area. In the coming years, uh, we will prioritize uh, the sign uh, uh, signing of a top-tier game uh, with development uh, investments exceeding tens of millions of dollars for release on the Mobox platform. Additionally, uh, we will actively collaborate uh, with industry leader uh, leaders uh, to bolster the Mobox ecosystem growth. In 2023, Mobox plans to launch three games. 
here is some public, uh, publicly available for information on them. New SLG game, Dragon Battlefield. Game in, a game introduction. This will be uh, transport players into exhilarating uh, world of warfare. Uh, where they can as, uh, assume uh, the royal of formidable commander. Uh, leading their army into battle. Manage, managing their own city and uh, mass. The train powerful arsenal. Of mechanical dragons to secure victory of the empire by upgrading their city army and uh, mechanical dragons their players will attain greater power to triumph more battles i have no idea why there's no sound Large MMO game, Project M. The thing is, guys, the one thing I've learned, like, I'm a full-time gamer. Like, you, you guys who don't know this, I, I just have to say this. Games that looks like this, the graphics, it is only the intro, okay? Don't get overhyped for something. Uh, this is just the intro. Like, I can't see this large MMO game to be something different other than block brawler like i'm not e i'm not even joking like i'm literally serious okay so don't get too hyped for this project m will be the first dao a designed and developed uh, mmorpg game on the uh, on the blockchain major uh, every major step in the design and development process uh, will be decided through the day including the game mechanics, game name, game assets, uh, game skin, and more. Yep. This would be great, though. I think this would be great. This bar right here. That it, this will be the first DAO-designed game. And everything will be voted upon the changes. Uh, game introduction. This is a thrilling MMORPG set in the post uh, apocalyptic world destroyed by the catastrophic event. Uh, in this barren world, resources are scarce, and various monsters and dangerous creatures roam the land. As a survivor of the apocalypse, players must face endless danger and challenges uh, to survive. Players need to explore, battle, and produce to obtain the necessary resources for survival and a safer living environment. To survive, the, to survive and thrive, players need to work together. Uh, you will choose different career paths, such as melee, ranged, healing, and damage, or, or and mage. Each of their own skill Pause the growth uh, attributes by working hard to improve your strength and building a powerful alliance with other players. You can become a force to be reckoned with. 
so pay to win. That's pretty much what they're saying. Uh, the core gameplay of the game is cooperative real-time combat and rich storyline missions. Uh, players will accept missions for various organizations uh, in, the, in, in the world. Team up with their players and gain experience and rewards. Uh, the game provides an open world where players can explore uh, the wasteland, find hidden treasures and relics, unlock uh, powerful skills and equipment, and improve their combat abilities and attributes. In this open world, players can explore and create their own unique gaming experiences. Uh, the game uh, content is rich, and social uh, fun uh, functions are also well developed. In the apocalypse, uh, it requires a wisdom of uh, and courage of, of players to protect and continue human, human civilization, uh, which represents knowledge and creation. RPG game. King of Chaos. Set the world teeming challenges and adventures. King of Chaos. Depicts a realm of magic uh, reigns supreme. Time travels uh, into various uh, eras and dimensions, bringing the uh, assortment of uh, technologies and knowledge. The Empire Knights uh, re uh, represents uh, the trading ruling class. Players will uh, embody a warrior venturing ex uh, exploring uh, the tremendous world, uh, completing an array of tasks and challenges, and unearthing unearthing uh, hidden secrets and treasures. The game core features include combat, exploration, leveling up, equipment, and synthesis. Players can uh, amass experience and wealth through battles, explore diverse terrains and settings, locate equipment and materials, enhance the skills and attributes, and ultimately ascend to the title of King of Chaos. In combat, players can select different skills and equipment and combine the diverse optimal uh, battle strategy. Uh, each character possesses unique skills and attributes, acquiring players to choose the most suitable character for combat based on varying uh, situations and enemies. Simultaneously, players can also team up with uh with others okay to challenge formidable bosses formidable bosses a, a range of thrilling adventure quests awaits players reckoning them to explore and conquer so here we go tokenomics 135 million burned i don't know how you guys feel like but <laughs> Yeah, Mobox price would be lower right now, but uh, I mean, it feels like this is the amount of money that they took away from us, if you think about it that way. <laughs> Look what that makes 2.0, let's see here. Burn. Uh, the Mobox platform is expected to burn about 135 million Mobox tokens. The portion of the planned total uh, production in the second year has not been produced, uh, which is equivalent to 60% of the planned total production in the second year. Adjustments. So this is staking, by the way, 100 million TVL, which they say they have over 200 million TVL, but they don't. Uh, because we are still under 100. I think we're at 27 million. So I think it's over 200 million if they, if they put in their money also. <laughs> How much money they've made from us. <laughs> uh, 
that's not a joke, by the way. It's, I'm dead serious. Uh, so the total TVL, 100 million. So before it's 50,000, now it's going to be 40,000. Okay. I still wonder where this bottom half is going to. Because we don't even have a half a hundred million, right? Which is 50 million. We don't have a 15 million locked. So we get the, the highest number here. I can't highlight it. But uh, this block, the very top one, that is the only thing we're getting. Okay. So where is the bottom ones going to? Where is this? Because we lose out on more than double the Mobox per day. Because we're under 50 million locked. Where is this bottom stuff? Where, where is this where, where I'm coloring in now? Where is this going to? Because if we only get if we only did get fifty thousand for a full year, why can't we just get fifty thousand again the next year? Right, because we were so much lower than the hundred twenty-five thousand that we should get. Right, we could get fifty thousand for the next three years, dude. I'm not even joking. Four years. Maybe even. By the amount that they just don't give to us. That's what I'm saying. This, this number right here, the 135 million, it feels like it's getting taken from us. That is staking, and uh, that is taking part in the NFTs, and that is in the Momoverse, building bases. Like, why is there a thing like this? You have to have more than 100 million... No one can work towards it, dude. No one can work towards it. It is way too big of a number for even the whole community to stand together and try and achieve it. Anyway, it's not a completely half event, so it's, it's decent. It goes from 50 to 40. At the daily mobox output, I don't, I don't think I have to read this. I mean... Uh, we can see right here. Okay, so new application scenario, cross-chain staking, new liquidity staking, uh, use consumption in the Mobox world, uh, used in the new Dragon NFT series gameplay. New application scenarios. Exploration of Mobox team and strategic investment shares. In the current market environment, many companies face traditional difficulties and pressures. In contrast to the, uh, uh, the Mobox team has significant differences from, the, uh, from other projects. First, in addition to receiving strategic investments uh, from Binance Labs, the team has a stable source of income, including the platform profitability, cooperation, and investment returns. Anyone in the chat, anyone that's watching this video right now, if I have this part highlighted, please let me know if you have this part that is highlighted right now, if that is true to you. Because I think it's an extremely small amount of people that ROI'd in Mobox. Extremely tiny people. If I would say 5%, I still think that is overkill. 90% of the people I talk to, 95% of the people I talk to, is so deep in the negative. And it's not because they bought at the wrong time. No, it's because of the halving event 
the increase of hash power that is going ballistic. So, yeah, I think ROI is impossible, whether you're in the NFTs, whether you're in a game. Maybe some games you had a good opportunity, but like right now, if you are in, um, in Chains the Arena uh, or Clash of Moland, you will never, ever, ever ROI, ever. So I don't know where this highlighted part is coming from. These revenues are significant, uh, are, are sufficient, sorry, they are insignificant, but they are sufficient to support the team's development and explo uh, expansion of the plans uh, for, the for, at for at least five years. So there is no need to sell any Mobox tokens to survive. Second, in order to achieve Mobox Grand Vision, uh, we will continue to attract outstanding talents in the industry and negotiate with the top three uh, investments institutions uh, to prepare high quality resources, sign high quality AAA level games and expand the ecosystem. I don't know if they know what the meaning of triple A is. But if they if they do that, it will be an insane amount of money. And if they do it today, it will still take five years to make a game. But I don't think it's going to be like that. You can you can attract the AAA company. Let's say, for example, they go to Capcom or Square Enix and be like, yo, uh, create us a game. And then they come up with a plan and they say, okay, listen, this is the game. It will take three, three to five years to develop. Mobox will be like, no, no, make it 2D, make it, you know, time-based. So you can only do X amount per time or X amount per day. And, you know, they will have to buy more stuff to do anything. So can't you make it in six months? And then the team will be like, sure, we could make it in six months. It will look worse than your Brock Blower, but we will, we could do that. And now it's made by a AAA company. But it's still not a AAA game, if that makes sense. Uh, we firmly believe uh, that the Mobox platform has potential for long-term and sustainable development uh, with continuous development of products and market expansion of the Mobox ecosystem will become stronger and more dynamic, creating more value for Mobox holders. I want to see that. Now it's Mobox holders. What about NFT holders? Screw you guys, we're bringing out new NFTs. Mobox uh, Fusion Hub. Mobox Fusion Hub after complete integration with the multi multiple mainstream layer one, uh, public chains and uh, related layer two, Mobox will launch its final version. Uh, we call it the Web3 Games Ultimate Solution. Mobox Fusion Hub, our team is ready to uh, provide game developers uh, with a series of SDKs and APIs significantly through blockchain, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we believe that the blockchain technology and NFTs uh, will play an important role in the future of the gaming industry and our platform for the pioneers of this trend. Our vision is to become the preferred platform for game developers and contribute to development of the future gaming industry. Well, that is going to be a tough one. Okay. That is going to be a tough one. Because there is a platform that already does this. 
and they are really good at it. So... Good luck with that. That's all I have to say. A com uh, compatible uh, with a multiple layer one public chains. Okay. Game SDKs and APIs. Mature smart contract API, risk control. Developer, let's see, developer funding support. Developer split NFTs. The Mobox platform not only provides developers with the best revenue distribution model, uh, but also provides them with a flexible support that is almost instantly credited to their accounts. Okay. Ensuring that developers have the necessary funds to continue their best development work and uh, help them develop excellent games. After successfully releasing a game on the platform, developers will receive a special non-fungible token, which is a PNFT, uh, their ownership of the released game. All income generated by the game will be recorded on the blockchain uh, to ensure uh, complete transparency uh, between the platform and the developer. Uh, the PNFT smart contract also service, uh, serves as a revenue sharing agreement between the platform and the developers. Automatically transferring uh, the income earned by developers according to the agreement to their Mobox wallet. Ready to use Momo library. Thanks to the interoperability of the Momo NFTs, uh, they will be used across different public chains and games. Game developers can choose a, uh, the, the high quality Momo NFT uh, library and immediately use them in their games, saving a lot of time and money for their team and independent developers or independent developers, and uh, providing the necessary resources and strong support for their game development work. Mobox Wallet 2.0, Mobox Seed Wallet. Secure, uh, uh, securely sow your seeds, unleashing the power of NFT gaming. Mobox Wallet's new vision will focus on providing a one-stop solution for the Web3 game users. Uh, here are the key features for the Mobox Wallet. NFT management. EIP 4337, diverse gas payment. Mobox Wallet supports diverse gas payment methods. Game players can use different tokens or even off chain credit cards for payment, eliminating the need to purchase cryptocurrencies in advance for the NFT transactions. That's pretty cool. Like right now, I don't know if you guys know this, but my my wallet is still hacked, right? Um, and the problem is, they could just get rid of the BNB all the time, and it will stop me from doing any transactions on that wallet. But now if there's a diverse gas payment method, you can't stop me anymore, right? If I want to get my money out, I can, with a different token. And it's impossible that they create a bot that will withdraw everything all the time. So, yeah, it will be a lot easier to do a transaction in any other coin or token. Pre-approval for on-chain transactions. Mobox Wallet supports pre-approval for on-chain transactions to increase the smoothness of dApp, provide more uh, and provide more user-friendly on-chain process. Bundle transactions. And this is what we struggled with. 
Mobox Wallet supports bundle transactions, allowing game players to bundle multiple on-chain operations together with just one signature. All the necessary transaction pro uh, processes can be completed, increasing transaction efficiency. That sounds insane. Okay. Subscription mode. Mobox Wallet supports sub subscription mode, allowing developers to subscribe to su uh, specific events uh, or data up updates. When these events or data updates occur, the Mobox network automatically notifies developers, helping them to achieve real-time data synchronization and notification more easily. Uh, through these features, Mobox Wallet provides better management and on-chain experience for game developers and NFT holders and contributes uh, to the development of Web3 games. Uh, we believe market uh, we, we believe that Mobox Wallet will uh, become one of the essential gateways connecting uh, the traditional gaming market and Web3. Mobomart. Bringing the magic of Mobox to life. As a part of the, the commitment uh, to expanding the Mobox brand and reaching the wider audience, we're excited to introduce the Mobomart, a unique uh, retail uh, venture uh, that merges the online and offline worlds. Our goal is to share essential values to, uh, uh, of Momo NFTs uh, with a diverse range of, con uh, of consumers while offering a tangible experience for a trend trendy toy enthusiasts. We'll be launching uh, an exclusive NFT or Momo NFT physically a uh, blind box collection, uh, which features exquisite packaging and a, a, a diverse array of captivating characters. Uh, this product is designed to not only ignite the passion of the Mobox community, uh, but also draw a more trendy toy, a fix, I don't know, uh, to our uh, growing family. Um, Mobox, uh, Momo Mart Inargali, Gunar, what the heck? Uh, Brick and Moral, what the, f what is his name, dude? A uh, store, uh, uh, proudly showcase the core values uh, of the Mobox brand and the NF, uh, Momo NFT. Our, des our, our design team is maculously crafting each character ensuring top-notch quality that leads, uh, leads the industry. Moreover, the interactive zones within the store will allow visitors to truly immerse themselves uh, in enchanting world of the Momo NFT. We're actually uh, scou scouting prime locations around the globe to establish our immerse shopping and interactive experience uh, for trendy toy enthusiasts worldwide. We're eager to exp I don't know how this is helping the NFT collection. So let's stop reading that. Roadmap. Oh, nice. Another lie. Uh, let's see here. Q1 research and testnet development for cross-chain solution. Don't they just mean it's research, research and testnet for Arbitrum? It's just Arbitrum. It's just Ethereum. It's not cross-chain. Well, it is cross-chain. But it's like... Just Ethereum for now. Right? Burn 135 million Mobox. I thought it's already burned. Update Mobox tokenomics.
Test Mobox game open platform for targeted developers. Provide Mobox game access to game development SDK. Develop Mobox 2.0 uh, to Ethereum and Arbitrum cross chains. Release Dragon NFTs. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to that whenever that comes out. I don't know if it's a good time to sell now then and not get anything. Release Mobox 2.0 World Map. Launch Gameplay Related Mobox 2.0 World. Launch Dragon Battlefield Game on Mobox platform. I don't know if more games is the solution to the problem we have with Mobox right now. The variety is pretty big. Uh, End of Worlds. Another game they're going to release. So Q4. It's like year end. So this year it seems they're going to release three games so far. And guess what? They haven't said anything about DAO again on their sword map. Which should have been released two years ago. And then they have the summary. Please feel free to read this. Guys, I'm not I'm not I'm not happy with this update. I mean uh they they, they talk about stuff that doesn't really affect me personally. Um for someone that is this long already in Mobox. Uh, it feels it feels like a slap in the face. Like, yeah, we took away... We're going to take away 8% mech every season. It's like, why? Why? why, why? <laughs> um, creating physical momos. Uh, why? You know? Like, the only good thing that is in this is the halving event... It's not a complete halving. It is less, considerably less. It's about 20% less, but it's, it's, it's still better than a complete halving. And then um, Arbitrum. That is the only two things that is decent on this whole announcement. No one cares about new games. Like, I'm sorry to say that, but instead of releasing three shit games, why don't you just make one game every two years and make it like a really, really good game? Like, I'm not talking about something, you know, that is like Block Brawler. I'm talking about something that is like World of Warcraft. Something that is like Diablo. Right? That is just my opinion. I, I don't know what you guys think, but if you want to make games, make the best ones you can. That is just my opinion. I, I'm not saying like, you know, Chain, Chain Z Arena is a terrible game because it's not completely terrible. It's just they make a, a, a decently terrible game right? And then they try and give it a ton of features uh, where you have to spend money on. If your base game is bad, it's literally a card game. It's a card game that is worse than Yu-Gi-Oh! Just think about that. Yu-Gi-Oh! came 20 years ago. Maybe 30. Uh... So that is just my opinion. Rather make one game a year or one game every two years, but make it something that is going to be really good. Like you don't want to just attract the people that is already in Mobox. You want to attract people that are gamers. And to do that, you need to make good games. Make better games so that gamers will play it and eventually start to invest in, in the platform also. It's not, it's, you're, you're, the way that Mobox seems right now, it's, it's, 
tokenomics first and then gameplay comes afterwards. And no, if you're a game company, you may have to make the best games you can. And I'm sorry, but you guys keep saying like how amazing Momoverse is. I can't even run in Momoverse. It's so laggy on a gaming PC. So it means that, I don't know, the servers is nowhere close to me because like, it's terrible. I can't move. So it has to be something that is not ping related, but it feels like a, f a really good game. That is, there's a lot of time spent on this thing and it will be fantastic. Anyway, this video is too long, guys. Hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a good time. Peace. Bye, have a great time.